I'm sitting here on behalf of anyone else that's actually facing this right now today, whether or not they need to go to work or be able to sit by their husband's bedside, their child's bedside. Many folks have expectations that the government guarantee them paid time off when they have a family emergency, and that's not the case. I went to work every day and left on my lunch break and did radiation and went back to work. I end up working three days after my daughter was born. There's nothing we can really do. My dad, he had leukemia. He was fired. I might not have a job to come back to. I found myself sitting in a cubicle at work while my son is in the hospital really fighting for his life. And that's a decision no parent should have to make. Paid leave is part of the economic and social fabric of the entire industrialized world. It's Papua New Guinea and the United States in a league of their own. Every worker in this country will have a life event, an ill family member, a dying parent, or a new child. Your body went through so much, just giving birth to a whole human being. We are in the midst of an unprecedented elder boom. It's proven everyone can use paid family leave, everyone. I've been working on this for more than three decades. Business leaders help break the myth that this is an anti-business policy. There's a cost for doing something, but there's also a cost for not doing something. We're going to see a growing movement. Paid family leave. So unpredictable. We don't know if we're going to have an accident. We don't know if the parent we love is going to need major heart surgery. You have a child, there's no bonding time with her whatsoever. Even though I'm the one with the cancer, this life is not about me. Imagine what happens when those things occur and you you discover that you don't have the time. We need a serious discussion of family values, real family values. Why is it that the rest of the world has figured this out and we haven't?